What's that guys, Hockey Boy coming at you with a new video today. It is the final, the final of uh, our three part series video with the testing of the graphics cards, bench tests between the amplifier and the Area 51. The first video we'll see we did the amplifier, we did the GTX 980, the 980 Ti and the 1080 in the amplifier itself and we did some fire strike bench tests and got some scores. In the second video we put them all into the 980, the Ti and the 1080, we put them three cards into my Area 51 tower and run the same tests on that system and this one is going to be a quite short and sweet video it's because it's absolutely sweltering outside and I've been inside editing and recording all day so I want to get out and enjoy the sun so I've created some charts for you guys uh, direct comparisons between the two systems FPS differences uh, graphics scores differences bits and pieces hopefully it makes some sense uh, a couple of surprises in there but uh, yeah let's see what we've got Okay, so you're probably going to have to pause this video to check out the graphs because there's a fair bit of detail on them that you're going to want to go through. So the first one, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven graphs in total. The first one, we did uh, the amplifier graph, which is the basically a sum up of the first video where we had the GTX 90, the TI, the 1080, the 1080 in 4K, and then the 1080 in 4K Ultra. Uh, we had a combined physics and graphics score for each of these, so you can see the comparisons there between them. Then to follow that up, we did the same with the second video, which is the Area 51, uh, a bench test scores graph where we had the physics, uh, the graphics and the combined, and that was for the GTX 980, the TI, the 4K, uh, we did a TI in 4K, and I didn't do a direct, direct comparison on some of them, but the GTX 980 we did a 4K in as well, a 1080, and then a 1080 4K, and I just did the Ultra this time, just so we can compare the two Ultra scores later on. After that, we did an Amplifier Bench Test FPS score, which is where we looked at just the, the frames per second that was achieved from the four tests on the Amplifier, and then we did exactly the same again, obviously, it's coming, uh, the Area 51 Bench Test FPS scores, where we just did the combined, the physics and the graphics FPS that was achieved on each and every single test that we did. So obviously when we've got these two, these two graphs, what do we need to do? We need to combine them. So we did the Area 51 versus the graphics amplifier graph test. And this was literally just the graphical scores that they, they achieved, the graphics part of it, it is, uh, between the 980, the TI, the 1080 and the 1080 in 4K. Like I said, I just did the ultra test for that one. We didn't do the 980 TI because I did a 980 Ti 4K test on the um, Area 51 but I didn't do it on the amplifier and likewise I didn't do the ultra test for the 1080 on the amplifier but I did it on the desktop so I've just I've just literally combined the ones that actually have got comparative results for both rigs so you can see that there uh, afterwards we did the difference between these scores the graphic scores and I've got above each and every one of them uh, a percentile difference um, I was a bit surprised that the there's such a small difference between the GTX 1084K. There's only about one percent difference, so I'm not too sure why that was. There's a number of possible reasons. One of which, like I said, my Area 51 isn't got doesn't have 4K screens, and the 3D Mark is supposed to scale it up to a supposed 4K. So maybe it didn't quite perform that as it should have done. Um, but either way, as you'd expect, the the GTX 980 the TI and the 1080 all can currently kind of go up, so the, the difference between the two is slowly creeping up. It's not as much as I, was, as I would have expected. It's 3.88, 4.15, and 6.42% respectively, so it does creep up as as the cards go up in spec. Uh, after this, we did do uh, a percentile difference between uh, the two rigs. So this is basically taking the FPSs, averaging them out, putting them together, and then giving me a difference between the two. So the GTX 980 for here, for example, when you take, I think it was the combined we're doing, because obviously the the difference between the the processor, it worked out literally on average, it was twice as twice as powerful. The Air 51 was over the my Alienware 15 that's powering the amplifier. So there was a big difference, which I think if we're looking at possible bottlenecks, then yes, the 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 CPU is going to be the bottleneck because it's a 2.5 by 7 that uh, supposedly boosts to a 3.5 when it's connected to the amplifier, but it's, it's, it's mobile, so it's never gonna be as, uh, as powerful as a desktop comparative for its own spec. But when you look at the Area 51, 
It's a, a standard 3.36 core K version, you know, Haswell. So it's it's designed to be overclocked. It's water cooled as well, so it does have a it has a massive advantage when it become when it when they when it's compared to the uh, Alienware 15, as you'd expect between a desktop and a, and a, a laptop. Um, the one thing that did surprise me was the 980 Ti appears to have the biggest difference. It's a 71% difference between the two. Uh, I'm not too sure why this is. I would have thought the GTX 1080 is at 34%. Um, then the GTX, uh, sorry, the GTX 980 is 34% difference. The 1080 is 52%. I would have thought the Ti, the Ti would have come around at 40, 41, 42, but it's coming at 71. Um, not too sure why that is, to be honest. Uh, again, the GTX 1080, as we experienced before, there's no difference really between them two, and it may have been for the reason I, I earlier mentioned. But for some reason, the Ti has got a huge difference of 70%. Uh, not too sure why. I mean, obviously, it's different systems. It's going. It's the newer, newer cars are on Pascal, which are lower power consumption. That may be one one area that's affecting it. Don't take take these results with, like I said, with a pinch of salt. I mean, as you can see in a lot of the videos, there's a clear difference between the cars as they're played in the amplifier and certain games as they go up, and then in the the Area Fifty One as they go up, there's there's obvious increases in the game. So there's there's going to be different variables that we that you're going to experience when you're playing certain games. Whereas this this fire strike test may not really incorporate that. So please do bear that in mind. Um, but like I said, the, the TI is the most power hungry card out of the out of the three that we had. So maybe there is a factor in there that you know I may have overlooked or we may not have uh, may not have covered. But uh, yeah, in the long and short of it, what we kind of expected um, may have had spoiled results somewhere along the line. We're not too sure, but it was consistent. I did do the test a couple of times. It did kind of come out that way. So not a hundred percent too sure why it's done that. But all in all. As you'd expect, there is a, a sizable difference overall between the two systems. Uh, it starts at 30%, and then obviously for some of the TI is 70%, but the, the 1080 is a 50% difference. So there is a, a pretty big difference between the two systems, as you'd expect. I mean, like I said, it's not a perfect test because my uh, Alienware 15 is a uh, a 16 gig of RAM, 2.5 i7 laptop, and it is a laptop, so it's got a, it's got a mobile processor compared to the Air 51 which has got 32 gig of RAM and it's a proper desktop K version Haswell processor so there's there is a couple of differences perhaps if you know take the extra RAM out of the desktop and try and try and narrow the gap there a bit plus the desktop's got a, a 1500 watt power supply whereas the laptop's only powered by the uh, the box standard uh, AC power adapter that comes with the laptop so maybe there is some power issues there as well it does open up. It does kind of open up more questions than it kind of answers. But um, yeah, well, it took me absolutely ages to calculate this. So if you've got any questions, please do drop them in the comment section. I will tr try my best to answer them. Um, but all in all, yeah, the the card, the, the results do kind of speak for themselves. There's a there is a clear bottleneck between. You're not going to get the full the full uh, the full difference out of the cards really. So. The amplifier does appear to uh, to bottleneck it, and I, I imagine that is mainly because of the uh, the the CPU. Because in the fizz in the fire strike test, there was there was a fifty percent increase in in CPU performance, which has drastically perfect, uh, affected the combined test, which is why there's such a big jump in them. But uh, in the in the standard graphics test, as the cars do go up, I mean. The 980 scored 58.3 as an average FPS, and then in the Area 51 it scored about 60, 61. So there was a few frames per second, there's a two or three percent difference as in the first card, and then it jumps up a couple again. So it does kind of, you know, it's kind of like it's being bottlenecked to a degree. So that is evident in the results. Um, anyway, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish that there. But by all means, uh, let me know what you think of the tests. If there's any way that you guys could, if you've got any way of testing your own bits and pieces, let me know how you got on. Maybe it's just a one-off that my system may be different to yours. I, I don't personally know. Um, someone out there has got to have a similar system that can do these sort of tests as well. Anyway, um, next video is going to be a good one. I've ordered in a brand new graphics card. The 980 has uh, been sold. I sold it off, I sold it off last week. Uh, apologies for not doing the video for, for quite a long time. I've been away on vacation, holiday vacation. I've just got back to catch up with all bits and pieces of work, so I'm now back in the zone. And like I said, the new next video, I've managed to get hold of a GTX 1070. It's a, a for the win edition, so it is a bit of a beast. It's it's a nice it's a nice card. So 
Um, we're going to be doing an unboxing slash review, which I've already videoed. It's going to be uploaded pretty soon after this one. And we're going to be doing some gaming and other bits and pieces uh, related to the 1070 card as well. So, like I said, I am getting new graphics cards in now. So if there's anything you guys want to see, perhaps the the ATI, the R, the um, the RX9 Furies, what they're called, anything like that, or if you'd like to see a 1060, or I mean, I'm not going to be getting Titans in because they're crazy money. But if there's anything you'd like me to see or any direct comparisons you'd like me to do, please drop a comment section. Uh, drop a comment in the comment section down below. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I do appreciate all the support. And as again, I'll see you soon.